Hello guys, how are you doing? This is another tutorial for beginners for Pocketables.com and today we're going to talk about home profile. So this is one of the most uh, actually asked questions I've seen on the profiles or under the videos and a lot of people actually have a problem with the profile escaping and stuff like that. So we're going to discuss three options today and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it and uh, hopefully this will help you. So first of all, I just like to discuss different options. So we're going to start with the Wi-Fi. Uh, if you don't mind running Wi-Fi and don't mind the background scanning, bear in mind this takes about 10% of your battery life and it doesn't really matter whether you have your Wi-Fi on or off because the battery drain is very similar. Uh, I might just link a video here just to show you uh, my short tests in regards to this. So, if you don't mind running this, obviously what you can do is just leave the background scanning uh, enabled and then link your SSID uh, at home to discover your home presence and run appropriate tasks. So this is very simple. Uh, one of the things you might want to think about is just probably problems with uh, Wi-Fi not being connected at home, for example, when you're going to sleep, as it might require some work around in order to make it work correctly. Now, another option which is much better is using a uh, beacon, a Bluetooth enabled beacon. So you can either use uh, like a ready uh, beacon. This is an example of uh, I've got from China. Uh, it costed about 13 to 15 dollars or about 10 UK pounds. Uh, the battery is supposed to uh, last about two years. Uh, you have uh, options to increase frequency and the range of the device itself. Uh, one thing to notice, the beacon uh, itself and the Bluetooth signal may be spotty inside, depending on the wall penetrations. So if you have a, a large house, you may want to consider two of these. Uh, so if you don't mind using this method, it's gonna cost you a little bit and uh, because obviously you need a device so you can use like a different device, for example, Raspberry Pi 3 as a bl uh, Bluetooth LT en en enabled. So uh, you can use a or computer uh, so you'll be required to run some sort of Bluetooth source in order to do it and then you can use that signal. Uh, the advantage of this is that uh, first of all it's disconnected for, from Wi-Fi so you can enable disable Wi-Fi at will. And the second thing is it takes really little power because it's about uh, one to three percent of the battery use. And again I'll link the video in here just to show you a uh, small uh, analysis of this. Um, another option would be a cell uh, triangulation. Basically, you can use your masts that provide you with a range um, to determine whether you're home or not because these things change. Obviously, this depends on your personal circumstance. So, if you work close to home, it might not be the perfect idea for you. Uh, however, if you live in probably an urban area, uh, you have a lot of coverage, uh, different uh, network, different network uh, masts and stuff like that. So you should be able to uh, make this work fairly easily. Uh, in country areas, you have to bear in mind that uh, the masts can have several miles uh, in range. So it might be a while before you uh, leave the home location or just enter it. Um, so we're going to be using some of that as well. Another thing is you could use is GPS. Uh, however, personally, I advise you not to. GPS is a very inefficient in terms of battery life and it can be spotty. It takes time to acquire the fix. So I just simply don't use it and I don't see a point for this. Um, one of the last things you can also use is time and calendar entries. If you have your life organized, if you have a fixed hours that you can trace, uh, when you're home, you can obviously just link it to your time when you suspect it to be at home and stuff like that. Uh, personally, I use it for my work because my work uh, has a very fixed hours and the calendar entry just works fine for it. Now, uh, those are the methods, the most popular methods to use it. And I'm going to show you how I'm doing it in this tutorial. So let's take a look. We're going to start by creating a new project. If you're new to this, you may want to check the previous video I made about starting up with Tasker. It's on the screen now. So we're going to look into state and then cell near condition. We're going to scan the uh, cells around our house. And once within uh, the cell network, we're going to enable our Wi-Fi. This way, uh, the moment we're going to approach the home, Wi-Fi is going to be enabled. Our action is going to be just Wi-Fi on 
once you've linked uh, your Wi-Fi off action to the task and to the profile itself, just rename the profile and then go to the profile settings. We're going to disable restore settings. This is my personal preference about restoring settings and uh, disabling this option. Uh, later on you realize that uh, it is useful sometimes, but for now I just want you to have a clarity on how it works and uh, by linking the exit profile you'll see that uh, when the profile is no longer enabled we're just simply going to apply the action uh, set Wi-Fi to off. So we're creating now task exit task that would just disable Wi-Fi and leave home. So that's going to be just two actions, one to disable the Wi-Fi and second one we're going to make a variable, uh, name it home and then set it to zero uh, to mark that we no longer at home. So at this point, when we are arriving within a cell range, our Wi-Fi will be enabled, and we've, when we are leaving the uh, range, the Wi-Fi will be disabled and the variable will change from one to zero. At this point, also make sure that the variable is spelled with at least one capital letter to make it global. We are near home now. What we want to do, we have our Wi-Fi on, and the moment we connect to our home network, I want to set our variable home to 1. So I'm looking at a state condition, Wi-Fi connected, and I'm selecting my home SSID. Then once this is created, we're just going to create a new task and link it to this profile. Our set home task has only one action, and this is variable set, and our global variable home, we're going to set to 1. At this point you can type in the variable name manually or you can just uh, uh, click on the tag um, icon in the corner which will bring all the variables available to you. As previously, as a matter of habit really because we're not using any settings, I'm setting restore settings to no. I'm quickly going to rename the profile as well. So what's happening now? We arrive at close to home, our Wi-Fi has been turned on and next our uh, Wi-Fi is being connected and this moment our variable home turns into one and we officially enter home location. The last profile, this is where you link your home task. So we're going to use uh, another state condition and this is a variable value. We're picking home and we're matching it with one. This profile we are creating really because of the convenience. Uh, you'll notice it's easier to look it up what uh, actions are being run when you're entering home and leaving a home and uh, your tasks are very easy to identify among other profiles. So if you make any changes you know exactly where you should apply them. For the sake of the tutorial I'm just going to enable flash action you are home and you are not home for an entry and an exit task. This is where you're gonna enter your uh, custom actions like I don't know um, go to silence mode or enable brightness conditions or whatever you want really. For this profile it is also important that you walk around the home a few times and you've scanned your environment for all the towers just to make sure you've scanned it all otherwise your profile may not work correctly. If you live in an area with a weak reception the profile will remain true as if you lost connection it will retain the last must use. You can also disable the Wi-Fi during the night, for example, if you don't want any disturbances and your profile will remain true as well. If you'd rather have this run with your Bluetooth beacon, just replace the cell near profile with a Bluetooth near condition and you will be able to run it. And as usual guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can follow me on all social media or just visit uh, my website now, notenoughtech.com, for additional information in regards to profiles raspberry creations um, also arduino and many many more see you in the next one take care bye